Across the globe, land titling programs have been promoted as a powerful poverty reduction tool. Proponents argue that these programs protect owners against expropriation, facilitate the eviction of defaulting tenants, and make credit more accessible. However, scientists are unsure whether these programs really work. To address this issue, two researchers, Sebastian Galliani and Ernesto Chagrodsky, took advantage of a natural experiment to gain a deeper understanding. Almost 40 years ago, a large number of families took over unused urban land on the outskirts of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Subsequently, an expropriation law was passed under which the land was to be transferred to the state in exchange for monetary compensation and then transferred to the families living there. However, only some of the legal owners agreed to cede their land. Between 2003 and 2007, when the study was conducted, other owners were still challenging the amount of compensation being offered by the government in the slow-moving courts of Argentina. As a result, one group of settlers obtained legal title to the properties where they were living, while another group continued to live on quite similar plots without having legal title. The study found that there were no differences between the two groups' real income levels, and there was only a very small difference in access to formal credit. However, for those families with deeds, the quality of their houses was better by approximately 40%. They tended to have smaller families, and they invested more in their children's education and health. In a related study, joined also by Rafael de Tella, the researchers found that families with deeds tended to have different, more pro-market beliefs than those without. In spite of these promising results, in a follow-up study, Galliani and Shargrodsky found that there were a number of cases in which these new owners returned to a deregularized situation following events such as divorce, death of the title holder, and sale of the house. The research by Galliani and Shargrodsky shows that there can be real benefits to the land titling, but some purported benefits did not apply to the population under study. It is possible that a different titling system could be easier to administer and could yield additional advantages.